Okay, we're going to talk about the HP Color Laser Jet M479 FDW. Now, this was not intuitively obvious. So, so I have all of these um, ink cartridges I want to replace. And by the way, I'm going to uh, box these up and send them in. There's a recycling. So in this case, um, well, let, me, let me show you what's going on here. I researched this and researched it to death. As one of my friends on YouTube says, researched it to death. And they did, there was no answer. So here's the answer for you. Okay, you gotta replace the cartridges. Well, when you buy these, it comes with a very small ink cartridge. So I'm really loving this unit. You know, you can scan things in, print color copies. But anyway, to, to, to replace a cartridge, it's, <laughs> it's simpler than you think. You push the button here, and it gives you this instructions here. And you pull this out and it seems okay. But I don't know if you can see this on the video or not, but I, re I just replaced the black. The blue still had some in there. And here's the red and here's the yellow. Can you tell that this original blue unit is much lower than the other units that I just replaced. So you just pick them up. Excuse me, let's do the, let's do the black up front. So you've got it in here. You wanna roll it around a little bit, make sure the ink cartridge is good before you put it in there. So when I drop it down in there, the first thing I noticed was this is sticking up way higher than the one I just took out. And then, so I was trying to think, okay, does this drop down somehow? Is there some little switch over here I should be pushing to make this drop down? The answer is no. The answer is no. This one, you know, again, is red. Shake it up a little bit to make sure the ink is where you want it. Yellow, same thing. You see it says yellow back there, so you know you're in the right compartment. So I was worried that these were sticking up too high and it wouldn't work. Truth of the matter is, these are holding more ink. That's the reason they're sticking up higher. So your unit comes with the small cartridges and I purchased the large cartridges so you get more bang for the buck. You just slide it in there and there was no tabs to pull off like in some ink cartridges. There was no little, uh, you know, pieces of tape or whatever you had to pull off. You put it back in there, close the cartridges. It says initializing. You can hear it. So here we go. If for some reason your unit went off, you just turn it back on. Uh, that happens occasionally. But then when you get back over here, if you look at your ink cartridges and you look at the info, you'll see that the black is full. That's one I just put, replaced. Um, yeah, I didn't want to do that anyway. I guess you'll see what happens then if you hit the print button. All right. Canceling. All right, yeah, just printed out a uh, test page for you. Oh, this is pretty neat. Maybe I am glad I did that. So there's your black cartridge status. There's your blue. See, the black is full. The blue only has a little bit left. The magenta is absolutely full and the yellow is full. So yeah, look over here. Since the blue was still had some left in it, I did not, obviously it wasn't a need to replace it. 
but you see this is the 414X and this is the larger, larger cartridge. So there you have it, folks. Um, getting back to here. Anyway, not sure how to get back. There's no, home. oh, there we go. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, I replaced these three. This one still has some left. So I'm gonna hold on to this until I actually need it. And uh, it was a little easier than I thought. So good luck replacing your ink cartridges. And I have searched high and low on YouTube. So there you have it. Rod's Random Reviews is the very first one to tell you about the different sizes of ink cartridges for your M479 and how to replace them and not sweat why the larger ones are not sliding down. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, and thanks for commenting. Yeah, commenting uh, helps others who are having the same issue. Tips are appreciated for everyone. Bye now.